All right, we good? Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> hey, guys, welcome back to Crypt Idiots. I'm Kaya Busta. I'm eating some delicious food. <laughs> what you eating, Wes? I'm eating a jalapeno sausage roll. That actually sounds really fucking good. What are we playing, Wes? We're playing must- no, uh, sorry, Dead Space. I'm playing Dead Space, and I'm eating mustard. I mean... I'm using mustard on my food. You know what I meant. I don't. <laughs> Clarify for me, sir. I'm well, gonna take this box with me for protection. Oh my god, there are fucking children screaming in the game. Anyway. Oh my god. Shut up, children. Goddamn vent babies. Haha, <laughs> the box saved me! Oh god, it didn't... There we go. Mm -hmm. So, per the norm, as is always the case with Dead Space, it's been about a month since we last played, so I don't remember any of the controls quite. Mm -hmm. So... Bear with me. You guys are gonna bear witness to a rare thing. This is a regular Mountain Dew. A regular Mountain Dew? Yeah, no zero sugar, no diet, regular Mountain Dew. Damn, now I want... Oh, no. I just remembered what part this is, I think. Um, I, uh... Now I want a Pepsi. <laughs> 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 Not quite the same as Mountain Dew. My typical go-to for, like, dinner or something like that um, <clears throat> is, a, is a large... Diet Pepsi. A diet Pepsi? It, it, yeah, it's dinner, so it kind of helps it go down a little easier. Does that make sense? Yeah. See, I just, I don't drink soda that much anymore. Occasionally, I'll, like, want it. Like, if, ooh, if I go to Taco Bell, um, like, I'll try to get, like, a Pepsi or a, ah, a Baja Blast. It's Fuck you, children! Ah. Pressing the right button, and fuck you, babies. Have kids, they said. It'll be fun. Oh, they're still here. Oh God! Stop it! Oh my God! They are fucking my shit up. Oh god! Please! Anthony? Brooklyn? Hunter? Calm down! <laughs> there we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you always wrap it up. <laughs> See, he knows. Yeah. It's like, dude, I, I brought extra condoms just to prevent that issue. <laughs> As you run through and smash the children. <laughs> they have items. In there, where are they hiding these items? <laughs> in, I don't know. In their skull cavities. You, like, listen, you know children hide places in the darndest places. You, you as a father know this. <laughs> I do know this. My son broke my penis rock today. <laughs> Your penis rock? Yeah. Okay. So. My wife is into all the hippy dippy stuff and like the crystals and rocks and different like minerals. Fair. And there's a there's a place up here where you can get all that stuff. And this lady had a uh, mineral that was carved into the shape of a dick. <laughs> okay. And so she got it, and it was on my computer desk. But now the cock and balls have been like severed, so now I just have balls and a cock separately. <laughs> Well, you know what? Sometimes, if you have those separate, it means you don't have to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just look over and you just have just just food hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> I was like, sorry, I was dealing with the fact that I realized that I had way less item, way less items than I wanted. I should actually save now, even though I just saved. Because I'm a crazy person. I'm a crazy person. 
need to save. <laughs> that, me? <laughs> I do that. It's like, listen, I just saved, but I need to save again. Wow, fucking good. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> no, that's a kid. He was a patient in the project, just like you. Yeah? Well, why was he there? What does he want? He's a psychopath, Isaac. Stay clear of him. He murdered his own wife and child. Okay, I'll be careful. This music's bumping. <laughs> I want to go in there. Fuck it. I want to party. I got moves. See, check out these moves. I'll just fucking mosh in there. <laughs> Sir, that is the wrong kind of music for moshing. <laughs> Listen, if the internet has taught me anything, is you can dance any type of way to any kind of music. There's a dude on TikTok who's been, like, proving that you can do the stanky leg to any song. And that got me thinking just now. If you can do the stanky leg to any kind of song, surely you can just fucking mosh to any kind of song. <laughs> I want to see him do the stanky leg to Slipknot Psychosocial. <laughs> I'm sh you know, I won't be surprised if he's done it. I have to look it up. I don't follow him, sadly. I'm a hacker! What? Hold up. You mean to tell me you love this guy and you watch several of his videos, but you don't follow him? I do that with a lot of people, Mr. Crane. Dana, I thought you were for those people. On TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they need all the followers they can get. The person probably has thousands of followers already. He doesn't need mine. I know that that sounds fucking horrible as a content creator. <laughs> That sounds t uh, terrible as that a con can create, <laughs> but I just, I don't care enough about it. I'm mentioning it. He <laughs> exists, TikTok, or YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> he exists. If you're on TikTok, go look him up. I don't know his name. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I am this, I'm the worst fucking content creator. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Fuck my ass and call me Jerry, that was hilarious. <laughs> you know what? I am not that hungry yet. Uh, uh. Good thing they don't break glass. <laughs> They're like, ah, easily breakable glass. Let's go around it. Let's go around it. <laughs> we don't want to make Dad mad. Okay. Um, some water I wonder if I can die if I shoot this. No, that's not breakable. Yeah, go get some water. So only most water. of the glass is bulletproof. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's back. Did you just bro me? <laughs> You're like three. <laughs> I'm dad, not bro. <laughs> Y'all heard that. Get your shredded ass out there or go get some water or something. You said you were thirsty, right? Go get some water. I love you. I love you. He loves you too, bro. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoever sees this, listen up. Bro. You can use Kinesis to pull blades off dead ones and shoot it back at them. Watch. Watch. Oh. What am I watching? What are you doing? You're using the power. Some Guardian Leviosa? Yes. Love you. Oh. Stayed alive three hours. Is this you? Apparently, it didn't keep you. Yeah, 
they were coming up with the idea for space system. They were like, so what if we took the spells from Harry Potter and just mashed them together? Which ones? Well, you know that one that Hermione says, right? Yeah. Yeah, what in Guardian Levios? That one. And, uh, and then that Abracadabra one that Voldemort uses. <laughs> Abracadabra. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to take... So, I do have to take one second and get really excited about this. I'm about to pack a cone, but I found special cones today at the store. Yeah? Yeah, if you guys know, my wife's name is Susie. Well, I found Blazy Susan. Lazy Susan? Oh, Bla they are They are pink cones. So let's see what... These things look like. Oh my god, they really are pink. Like, pink. <laughs> How pink we talking? Like, one second. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kinda? Not, not oh. that, not much. Pink. I don't know why, but I, geez, they got real bright. So, these are definitely pink, and for whatever reason, I feel like they should smell like strawberries, but they don't. I can see that. Pink is usually associated with strawberry. If they did make it smell or taste like strawberry, I feel like they might sell more. Yeah. Do they have any flavor at all? I don't know, we better find out. You know, I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. I knew it. They just wanted you to try it, which is fair. It's very useful. Like, like I think we talked about that last time about how they made stasis just way more. It's a weapon now. Yeah. It's not just, it's not just like a pick up and move shit. It's a weapon. Yeah. Which, as it should I, be. Yeah, I personally absolutely love that. I thought it should have been all along. Okay, so. Wee! We're about to find out if these have any taste at all. I don't think they do, but. Well, while you're doing that, I'm just gonna enjoy just. Flying just toot, around, tooting around in space. <laughs> flying around, flying <laughs> around, Isaac's world. <laughs> uh, how do I land? I don't know, but these things look huge. I don't know why, but this thing just looks massive. Really big compared to like everything else I would roll. And the tip looks really big too. Like it's not not as big as the one that we had originally planned to smoke on my birthday last year. No, that thing was like a, that was a foot long and half an or yeah half an ounce. Did we share that at all on here? I don't think so. I'll I'll send you a picture so you can like put it up here. But this thing took me like two and a half hours to roll, um, and it used half an ounce of material. Um, the 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 hardest part about it was the figure eight, which looked less like a figure eight and more like two circles. Hey, it worked. It still looked good. But it was twelve inches long. And then what happened to it, Wes? Why didn't we end up smoking it? Well, I got stingy and smoked the whole thing to myself. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to be doing? No uh, difference in taste, 
like you're just tasting material, which is nice. I'm not tasting a whole lot of the paper. Okay. Great. I don't like to taste a whole lot of paper. Yeah. Checks out. It says our slow burning, ultra thin, vegan papers are made from the finest wood pulp for your ultimate smoking pleasure. I would like to point out that I would hope that they were vegan. I would, like, I would question what animal products they would be putting in the paper. Chlorine-free and GMO, please. Once again, I would hope so. Oh, am I supposed to go out that way? Okay. But overall, not bad. Oh, I can just knock it out of the fucking way. I'm Superman! <laughs> yeah? Bane, you know what happened the last time you... Uh-oh, everything's dark. I don't like this. Everything's loud! Thank you. Loud. I was like, I can't hear Wes over the sound of things. I don't know. Dude, the lighting? Okay. The lighting. Cinematic lighting. Yeah. That's fucking fantastic. Like, I don't know what they did to, like, up the lighting with, like, the gun. Like, you can see, like, the lines of the gun, which just yeah. adds to, or, like, the, the shadows from the gun between the flashlight lightings, which really adds to it. It's just making sure. Damn. I would have really have liked a node right about now. Um, already done. <laughs> I like that it's telling me this now and it's just like it's like Dead Space. I've 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 played your first game. I know how to put batteries into hole into holes. <laughs> But it comes in a hole. <laughs> I. It's almost like they're accounting for like nobody having played this before, which is fair. Um, I can't be mad about that. A node. Back down the elevator. <laughs> I want to know what's in that room. Hurry up. Hurry up. I is an impatient man. I am. So, I have a story for you all. Go on. Traveling back from uh, Oklahoma this past weekend, I decided that I was going to stop into an adult superstore and buy my wife and I a new toy. Fair. So I go in, and there's this lovely... Uh, uh, there's this lovely guy in there, um, in the middle of his transition, you know, uh, to becoming uh, a male. And helps me out. Great experience. Even, even before I left, took the toy out of the pack, put batteries in it, make sure it worked and there was no defect. Awesome. Strug struggled a little bit getting the batteries in there. I'll come back to that in a minute. So... Uh, we sit there and talk for a second. Uh, we talk about, about um, test dosages and stuff like that. The difference between like transitioning and taking it for um, athletic purposes. Um, and that was really, really cool because they understood that side of it as well. Yeah. So after uh, I leave, I spend about 20 minutes or so in there. I leave and I uh, I get curious because I hadn't 
personally held the toy yet and and seen and felt what it could do. So I go ahead and before I take off from the parking lot, unpackage it. And uh And throw some batteries in it. Now this toy had nifty little uh, markers, plus and minus, to let you know positive and negative, so you didn't fuck that up. Okay. So I put the batteries in it. I pop the the end back on, and I go to turn it on. Nothing happens. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, what? The f what? So I switch the batteries around, and I try it again. Nothing happens. Now, he just put these batteries in, or not these batteries specifically, but put batteries in this thing, and it worked. I saw it. So, um, I'm like, you know what, I'll just, I'll take off down the road, and I'll grab, I'll grab a new pack of batteries. Oh, something important's happening. We will resume story in a minute. Go on. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh, somebody's pretending to be Nicole. That's catfishing. Catfishing? <laughs> it's not where I thought that that would go, but okay. Catfishing's a thing in Dead Space, right? Sure, why not? How? It is now. I, too, <laughs> would write that on my child's wall. Help. Help. Please. Babies are a lot. And I only have so many bullets! <laughs> so, I take off down the road on an adventure to find a Loves or a Pilot or some gas station where I can buy some AAA batteries. Because that's what this thing takes. Fair. I find a Loves and I go in and the lovely people in Loves help me find the AAA batteries because they had no idea where they were either. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... And so I get them, and I spend six dollars on AAA batteries, only to get down the road and find out that those batteries aren't working either. What the fuck? So I get all the way back home, and this is like three thirty, four o'clock in the morning. And I sit in my car for a second, and I turn my in, uh, my interior lights on, and I'm looking at the toy and. I'm looking at all the connections, making sure there's no- Oh, I found it. One of the connections were severed, just like the limbs of that thing. Whoa, what do you pop back up? <laughs> this thing did. He was like, it surprise, broke. motherfucker. <laughs> so I find a connection that's been severed, and uh, that's why it's not working. So I'm like, okay, cool. So if I just connect that back, it should work in theory, right? Yeah, sounds right. Wrong. <laughs> what? What? Try to connect it back. It's touching. I'm making sure there's a good connection, and it still does not work. Lucky for me, this toy that I bought had a silicone outside piece, so I was able to take that off. So the working vibration part of the toy just doesn't work, and I have it sitting in a drawer, and the silicone outside part I have found use for. Yeah? Yeah. Doing what? Oh, what it was intended. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just curious to know how the toy works if it doesn't vibrate. Isn't that the whole point of the toy? Well, yeah, but you see, I'm an innovative guy. I do believe that. So, have you guys ever heard of an impact gun? Um... That's... You know the massage gun. Yeah, that's what I was going to guess. Yeah. So I have a massage gun, and it comes with this little, like, bullet thing. And it's about this big around. And uh, so I just put that silicone piece on that thing. And you can just use your imagination on what that does. You know what? Fair enough. <laughs> you ask. I'm an open book. Well, yes, I'm not mad that you gave me an answer. Like I said, I was just like, wait, how is it used for its intended purpose if 
the vibrating part of it is broken if that's the whole point. Creativity. Uh-oh. Please don't vam it on me! What is that thing carrying? Is that a comeback? Yes! I mean... Oh god, I'm slow. Okay. Take that! I too am an innovative guy. <laughs> Thank you. That's also something else I like about this game, is you can be innovative on how you approach things like that. Yeah. Or it's just like, oh, explodey sack, blow it off, and then throw it at a whole group of enemies, and it will do exactly what you think it will do. It's not one of those games that's, like, limited by, that's not the point of that. It doesn't work that way. <gasps> Ooh. Don't care, fucking nerd! Giving me history lessons. We don't do history here. That's not true. Oh! Oh. Into the chat, Harry. Well, he's not a very good shot. Got to hustle, hustle. I'm already in there. Like you're on a middle school football team. Yeah, the Church of Unitology. Why here? It's one of the few places on Titan Station that Titan can't monitor. Separation of church and state. No, you know, we shouldn't be in here. This is the last place we want to be right Isaac, now. Isaac, my brother died. You mean to tell me? This is important. You mean to it's tell me? They separated the church from the state, thus making the church its own colony? I mean, kinda. Wasn't that, like, the whole point of, like... Wasn't that, like, part of the thing that had to do with the last game? Was the fact that they sent, like, the Church of Unitology on a mission to find the marker? Yeah. <laughs> You're coming with me, sign! <laughs> You were just like, nope, this is mine now. <laughs> it's like, okay, you're coming with me. I guess I'll buy a power node. A node. These chapters, like, kind of weirdly fly by in a weird way. Yeah. I've noticed that they, like, seem to be a little more fast-paced in this game. Yeah. But we will leave it off here, and we will see you guys next time on Crypt Idiots. Wow! Jesus Christ. I burnt myself. You what? I burnt myself. With your fucking thing? Oh, is that why you were screaming? Yeah. Oh. I, gave, I, I, made, I, made my, uh, I made my best R2-D2 impression while burning my finger. I didn't realize that. I thought you were just doing that for the outro. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs>